The armed forces of Ukraine may receive more than 60 American-made F-16 fighter bombers from Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands and Norway this summer. This was reported by the newspaper Politico. According to the sources of the publication, Kiev demands that Washington and European countries accelerate the training program for Ukrainian pilots for the combat use of F-16 fighters. The Ukrainian authorities believe that the current pace does not allow the number of military personnel required for the armed forces to be trained. Ukraine has already notified the United States that it can send 30 pilots who are ready to immediately begin training on American territory. However, the Washington administration informed Kiev that there were not enough available places at the Arizona Air Base to receive more than 12 military personnel from Ukraine for training. At the same time, as the newspaper notes, American lawmakers are asking the executive branch to give priority attention to this issue and accept several more Ukrainian pilots for training. Nevertheless, the American government informed Ukraine that military personnel from other countries are also waiting for the opportunity to undergo training at the airbase, Washington cannot violate its obligations to them. According to the U.S. Air Force, a total of 12 Ukrainian pilots will be trained at the Arizona Air Base by the end of September. In addition to the United States, the training center in Denmark also has limited facilities and is preparing to close in November. The third training center for Ukrainian pilots, which is located in Romania, has not yet been launched. By the end of this year, it is expected to complete the training of 20 Ukrainian pilots out of 40 needed to control the F-16 squadron, consisting of 20 aircraft, Politico notes. According to the publication, with the current pace of training, Ukraine will not have enough pilots for a full-fledged squadron until the end of 2025. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has arrived in France where he will attend a special event commemorating the 80th anniversary of the Allied landings in Normandy. Posting in Telegram app before the visit, Zelensky said important events and meetings will be held to strengthen our state and strengthen the unity of all those who respect human values and life. This event and day serve as a reminder of the courage and determination demonstrated in the pursuit of freedom and democracy. Allies defended Europe's freedom then, and Ukrainians do so now. Unity prevailed then, and true unity can prevail today, the Ukrainian leader stated. He added that there is also a special event ahead, in which we are very honored to take part, the commemoration of the 80th anniversary of the Allied landings in Normandy. Zelensky will meet U.S. President Joe Biden on the sidelines of the meeting, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said earlier. While he's in Normandy, he'll have the opportunity to sit down with President Zelensky and have an engagement with him to talk about the state of play in Ukraine and how we can continue and deepen our support for Ukraine, Sullivan told reporters while en route to France. The event will also be attended by other heads of states, including British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau.